Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Well, welcome to the Chip Lake area. And this is uh, unfortunately a rather serious story, I'm afraid. It has recently come to light that uh, Alberta Agriculture and Forestry has put out a request for proposal to log the north shore of Chip Lake. And I gotta tell you, that is going to uh, have some serious repercussions, not only for uh, the environment and the habitat, but also for a number of people who earn their living from this land base. Bill Abercrombie has been trapping in the Chip Lake area for a quarter of a century. The surprising news that a clear cut of this mature boreal mixed forestry canopy will have a significant impact on his trap line. Clear cutting this area would be nothing short of catastrophic. Um, this is a critical uh, boreal upland ecosystem that rises out of the northwest end of Chip Lake, uh, right along Highway 16. But it is intact wilderness area, and uh, you know there are other users. But the reality is this mature poplar canopy, broken up by mixed wood valleys and uplands. Uh, uh, boreal wetlands, uh, creeks and rivers, is the richest uh, wildlife habitat in the entire region. The government put out this RFP, I think in late December or January, and I know one of the proponents, uh, Miller Western, um, notified uh, the leaseholders in the area, the grazing lease holders, that they uh, wanted a, a letter of support for them clear cutting uh, the Crown grazing leases in here. And I, I know that that certainly hasn't gone over very well. And if I hadn't have had one of the leaseholders get a hold of me and said, you realize what they're planning to do here, I would have had, uh, I still wouldn't have known. This proposed clear cut will also have detrimental effect on indigenous users of this unique land base. So with, with that, I have, I have two businesses, uh, Indigenous tourism businesses, one Native Wild and one uh, Wild with Conservation and Education Centre, and those are both directly tied to the lands. So from the Native Wild perspective, we have a store. Um, it's actually a trading post from the 1800s. We're going way back, so traditionally um, we want to bring all that back, and that's all part of it, having our furs inside there and, and everything. So all of that land that they're taking is taking away our habitat um, and then pushing them elsewhere, if not killing them. And uh, then with the Conservation Education Centre, we teach people how to live from the land. So it goes from, from right from scratch, from harvesting it out of the trees out of the woods and then bringing it back to um, the table for dinner, making garments and so forth. So it really affects the whole, the whole vision of what we had planned. Another tourism based business in the area is the Lone Pine Ranch. It is a bad idea for the size of the clear cut. I would like for sustainable um, purposes Little ones can be accepted and the wildlife would accept it as well. Uh, for the tourism or for the hunting community, same thing. They would just move to, the, the wildlife would just move to another area. My, <coughs> if I had a chance to, to influence that, I would, because of the area is so unique and uh, an old growth and everything from what I heard, um, to have that as a wilderness sanctuary for the animals, it's, uh, it would be beneficial for people coming out of Edmonton or other places to, to see this, which is where in Alberta, just about where can you get that? And then for the tourism part, yes, then people might be staying here to see that. Wildlife, there is a lot of bird watchers coming out because of the lake, but they also use the North Shore and the area going further north from the lake to, to see these, these birds. I just think that some sober second thought is required and uh, weighing what are we gaining by cutting all this for short term, um, you know, short term jobs, short term production over what we're going to lose long term. 
you know, and I think the long-term loss, because this will never be the same after that uh, extensive, a clear cut, what are we giving up, you know, and what are we getting? Um, certainly, it, you know, it'll be a gain for the forest company, but what about everybody else? And that's just what I'm questioning. I'm not, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not against forestry. Uh, I'm not against any kind of industry and resource development so long as it's responsible and sustainable. And to cut this area would be neither. So I hope this story resonated with you, touched a nerve, maybe even got you a little bit angry, because that's good. We need your support to pick up the phone or send an email to your MLA, to Alberta Agriculture and Forestry, Alberta Environment and Parks. Let them know that, you know, this is a very special recreational area that is uh, available to all of us to come out and enjoy. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors.